and they are popping up all over town. T-shirts supporting the Canucks on their quest for the cup. Many are either homemade or from a custom shop. But are they legal? Teresa Lalonde explains the rules. This shop has been busy offering custom fan shirts for a nondescript goalie, his nondescript mask, and no one in particular's playoff beard. Ladies can showcase their support for twins, but notice, no names, no numbers. We don't do anything um, that would infringe on licensing here, so I don't think there'd be like a you know problem with it. So this store doesn't put the actual names of Canucks players or their numbers on any of their t-shirts. But for operations that do, how much of that is fan fun or copyright infringement? There are plenty of examples online, people having hope, faith and fun with their team. Jesus saves, but he's no Luongo. Jesus loves the Canucks. Some first names, some last names, even dogs cheering for the goalie. If you ask a copyright lawyer, technically, these shirts are illegal. But in copyright law, enforcement depends on someone complaining about it. If I'm one individual and I make one t-shirt, uh, that's a, a gray area. Likely it won't be enforced against me, but if it was me, um, I, I wouldn't do it. Weeks ago, this car dealership was sent a cease and desist order from the NHL's legal team for daring to post Go Canucks Go on their window. It's a trademark phrase. So unless a retailer selling actual Canucks merchandise complains that they're losing money to the homemade fan shirts, people will continue to get their custom creations. Uh, you know when uh, Luongo makes a big say, people like chant Lou, we have done ones where it's like Lou. This store has been selling dozens of custom fan shirts every day. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.